is a Sunday afternoon at 3 30 pm. So I'm here at Chat to Chat weekend market. So this place is very well known because it's the biggest market in Bangkok, Thailand. So I'm going to show you around a bit and I will tell you that this takes about three to four hours to complete if you were to go to every single store. Actually, you know what? Even three to six hours even. So I'm going to show you around. Just to let you know, for this weekend market, there is two main entrances. One, uh, so there's two main entrances and there's three lanes. So this is the entrance that you should come if let's say you are looking for more like home decor and pets. And uh, so this is what I call lane one, and there is two and uh, two more lanes, and those are more for food and clothing. So this is lane one, and I'm gonna show you the things that is on lane one. I'm gonna make sure that I only film what is the best in Chak Chu Chak weekend market. So this is one of the my favorite as well. things that are done by people who are skilled at what they do. A lot of craftsmanship and a lot of nature. So nice, really beautiful. They preserve what is natural and it's very nice to have Alright. I'm going to head to one of my favorite stores in front. We went there previously and just around here at B Zone, there's some very nice decorations. I love this. Uh, if you own a villa and you want something very exquisite and more expensive, you can actually come here. A very nice uh, statue, premium statue made of uh, it looks like stainless steel or iron. And one of the next favorite is this store. They have very nice elephant uh, shower gels, cups, tea. Very unique, nice. What are you? Let me just. <laughs> so. Very this is oh, it's a very nice Asian style. They have small plates to bigger. Okay, I just to let you know here in Bangkok, Thailand, especially in this market, they don't really like us to take photo or video. So as much as possible, even though I just want to show you my favorite stores in Chat Chu Chat weekend. Uh, I want to respect their feeling as well, so if they say no, unfortunately I can show you. <laughs> Next, I, another one of my favorite as well. So they, these are more like a sea, it has a sea theme. So this is perfect if you have a house in Phuket and you want some decorations. And this, uh, I'm not sure whether it's a real reef, but I, I would like to think so. It's very unique and they just spin it over. Uh, I don't know, YouTube. Uh, YouTube, I just, I promote your, I promote your business. Because you want the best, so I put YouTube. Okay, I put YouTube, this one the best, not all store, okay? Uh, and this is a very nice modern store. Sorry. It's, it's really hard for people to know their store if no one in the world know where they're located at. Because when I came here, I didn't even pass by this area. This is a very nice store. When I open the, the door of this house, it smells like peppermint with very nice music. Very nice modern decor as well. music and I've never entered a store I've never entered a store that smells like peppermint they put a lot of work into you know making the store become an outstanding shop among other the rest of the ones that you can see here okay 
I'm going to bring you to one of the street artists that I found here in Chachujak Weekend Market and he's pretty talented, let's see if he's around today We came from there and when I walk straight, there's a temple here and this is where the street artist is he, he, you know, the, the sad thing is that he's hidden here so no one really knows that he's located here so let's check out what he's doing Hi, oh, wow. YouTube. Very nice. You. My God, so this is the art that he has uh, he has drawn. I did one portrait with him last week and this guy just deserves a tip. Okay, I, I've been in art school before. I know most people in art school they want a fancy pencils and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you his tools. These are very simple and for me right, some, this is not even the right kind of pencil that you should be using to draw but this guy is really talented, he doesn't need fancy too and he can produce this sort of art so this is what I call really amazing. So it puts a lot of art students in shame. Look at that, it's, you can even barely hold it and so this costs um, only 100 Thai baht which is 4 Singapore dollars and if you want a frame it will be additional 200 Thai baht. So if you do come to this weekend market, please look for him and give him your support. Paying him 500 Thai baht, you know, as a tip. Doesn't really uh, cost that much as well. Thank you, take care, bye. 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 Okay, so right around here is uh, the pet's corner. But before I go in, I'm not going to say so much on the camera because like what you've seen just now, some of them don't like us to take video or any photo. Uh, photo. But I think it's, if we don't do this, nobody will know they are located here. Only the locals does. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go into that era, and I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> selling reptiles and uh, tantuna spider and he has this sign all over his shop saying uh, fuck off do not take photo and let's see I, I, I just saw him wearing this headband with a squirrel it was very cute um, even though on the, on the outside you might think that someone is not very nice but on the inside um, it could be a very nice person so you can try to understand that because of what he's selling he's selling snakes reptiles uh, spiders not a lot of people will buy that so he's probably not earning a lot of uh, business. So therefore, I think he'll be quite annoyed if people would just take photo as a form of entertainment and he doesn't earn anything. And I'm guessing that the most Thai store owners do not want any photo because probably because they think that someone will steal their ideas. I'm not sure. It's a really huge market. No one is going to know. I think I said this so many times. No one is not gonna know their story if you do take video and you know broadcast it to the world. 
So okay, um, I'm be, I'm gonna be heading to lane two. Okay, lane two is more for uh, clothing and food as well as lane three. It's very easy for someone to get lost um, in Chachu Chak Weekend Market unless you are able to sort of like visualize. So this is why I tell you there is um, three lane. Okay, so this is a uh, lane one. So once you come out, this is lane one where we came from, where the first entrance is. So once you come, you just go straight. This is what I would call lane two. So every lane has somewhat like a road. For you to walk from one end of the road to the other is probably gonna take you about 30 minutes to 45 minutes per side. We are gonna head to this side. I love that in Thailand we get to recycle a lot of stuff. So on lane two at the if that is the road, that will be the front. Near the front of lane 2, there's a lot of food. Street food. If I want to eat street food, I will eat from stores that are not too close from the road. And I did leave during night time because during the daytime the dust uh, not scattered, no hot air rises, so it's more dusty in the daytime than it is at night. There is some tables in the middle where you can actually have your food. The cost of the, this street food is only around like 15 Thai baht, 30 Thai baht. It's pretty cheap. I think I might um, try to have a meal here. Initially, I wouldn't want to eat there because the drain is just um, over there. Yeah, I think not everyone will be willing to eat over here. We are walking towards the main road, which is what I call the front of the Chachu Chak uh, market, and this is zone two. That is zone 1, this is zone 2 and that is what I call zone 3 So during the daytime they will block this area so that no cars can come in But if you were to come around evening time uh, they will take out this you know this blockage and the cars will be coming in so during daytime during the daytime i would recommend you to visit those stores first like this visit these stores first because they close around 6 pm but don't worry about the food because they are still here around until 9 pm okay we are heading to zone 3 Every side of the road there is uh, another entrance so this is a bit like a maze you can get lost inside so I'm only going to show you the main zones the main road and you can explore yourself so uh, one tip to recognize uh, where you are at is when you look up there oh the sun, the sun is really bright so this is actually a shopping mall so if you want to know where the main road is it's there as well as the end but this will help you to actually find out where you are located at so you won't not get lost in this market. And also at night, um, this light will light up and it's pretty, it's quite nice. I'll try to show you if I'm still here at 6 or 7 p.m.
it's going to be a lot of editing for me because there's too many shops on the left and right. So I have to sort of like spin my camera left and right using the software editing app. Oh, that, that bike is cool. This is almost like bat, Batman motorbike. Oh my god. Wait. This is very cool. Okay, there's like a water vapor spring and I'm not sure whether it's a clean water or a dirty water. <laughs> Thai massage is really cheap as well, uh, one hour for only 10 Singapore dollars. So zone 3 will encompass here and it will curve to the left. That is the BTS, so if you are coming, you'll be here. To exit from this BTS, you'll be heading to Zone 3. So, Zone 3, 2, 1. So, if you are taking the BTS, just exit through there. And this is Zone 3. Okay. This is Lane 3, the last lane. A lot of buildings. stopping for musicians. Um, I love to make time to hear music played by some musicians. You know, life is not just about rushing through. Sometimes you gotta stop and enjoy what's around you. Lots of clothing. Most of the clothing I see here are pretty unique, aside from the elephant pants, which is very common throughout Bangkok. Some of the designs here are very unique, especially the store that I just went to. Oh, yeah. I should bring you to the store that I went to buy my Egyptian or Arabic clothing. It was very beautiful. It's located somewhere around here. I'm going to show you a bit more around here before I head to my favorite store. place as big as this I will always recommend you to wear like a sport shoe for me I always choose to wear um, Nike Air so Nike Air is one of my favorite shoe because it's very light you need to bring a very light shoe if you want to travel the world otherwise you're gonna hit your baggage limit really fast for me when I left Singapore I had two large luggage which is more than 40 kg on top of that I have a carry-on which is more than 14 kg so I've exceeded your measures and I remember I spent more than six hours packing and packing again and I asked my friend to come by and just take all my stuff away because I keep exceeding the limit okay this is temporary tattoo store and they're quite popular in this era
itself for temporary tattoo however on the second day it just start to fade so it was a bit of waste of money um, I spent 340 Thai baht which is almost at 12 Singapore dollar still very cheap but it doesn't last very long I do like it uh, once I had the temporary tattoo I got a rose and it was on Valentine's Day rose with the wine and a leaf had like heart shapes I feel a little bit gangster-ish after I had that temporary tattoo. So it's really nice if you want to see if you really like having a tattoo before placing the real one. I almost thought that I would get a permanent tattoo when I come to Bangkok. I found quite a few clothing um, from the street market in Bangkok. I would say that um, 9 out of the 10 that I bought, I really regret buying them. Because um, especially the pants that I bought, the elephant pants, some of them, right, almost like half of them, the pocket is already torn and I didn't know that. And you can't try, so the size will fit, but sometimes right, the threading is so poor quality that within one or two washes, it's just going to break. So for me, I'm an advocate of buying quality clothing. But some people, they have a different idea uh, for them. They think that since the clothing is so cheap, you just buy when you arrive at the country and once and you can just throw them away. Why not donate them, right? They will just throw them away and move on to the next place when they travel. So for me, I'd rather keep the best quality one, the kind that can last for five to ten years. So for me, I always go to like Victoria's Secret or Massimo Duty. I think I'm going to donate all my elephant pants and shorts. Oh, but always um, keep one elephant long pen because in Bangkok there's so many, it's quite a lot of mosquito at night. So what you want is to wear something that's really thin, that's not too hot, yet it protects you from the mosquitoes. And also, there is this mosquito repellent that smells like lavender and he, ha he has no DEET. DEET D -E -E -T is like a chemical that it immobilize the mosquitoes nervous system so it's not very healthy for humans all right uh, oh, yeah. this is zone three and that is zone two and that is the mall yeah. and apparently i think there is two weekend market combined because they call this jack to jack I'm not sure whether it's another spelling for Chak Tu Chak or oh, it's the second weekend market. So if you're Thai, please uh, comment in the comment section below and let us know. Oh. <laughs>